before it's been into sports, Joe, so I think the atmosphere is really good, which, which is one of the main reasons why we're still here after such a long time. I started martial arts when I was four years old. Um, that was because my brother was into it, and then from there it just all kind of developed. I, I was into sport from then onwards. Um, started boxing at 11, rugby at 11, and started training in gyms at 14. Uh, it just supplemented all the other sports I was doing. The atmosphere is a massive thing in any gym, and this one's got a great atmosphere. Um, get on great with all the staff, get on great with all the members as well. Um, and again, back to the equipment side of things, I mean, they've got everything from, from lightweight dumbbells up to all the full range of boxing equipment and everything in between that as well. So absolutely everything that you can think of or need in the gym. Um, I come three times a week to the uh, indoor boot camp of an evening that's run by Jerry and Sam. Basically just get healthier, um, lose weight for myself and basically that's it, just a better, better style of living really. Yeah, I'm down here, like I said, probably up to, if I look at it for across the week, I'm up to it probably about five, four or five times a week, for a maximum of about 45 minutes a time. I started to come and teach the pole once a week and I've basically never left. <laughs> it's got me back into my fitness journey. I used to be really into it before I had my son and I've stopped for about four years and just come back here is basically reunited my passion for it. Back then, I was like 16 and I went because the instructors were pretty, pretty much. <laughs> the commercial gyms, it's just your number, but here you're, you're a person, you get to know everyone. It's just, I like the way it feels. I'm just interested in it all, like I want to know how it changed people's lives because it's changed mine. I come in probably about 15 months ago, uh, paid my first monthly, had a little walk around the gym, liked it and then uh, put a business plan to Jerry about bringing my class here and the rest they say is his good. But I've always been very sporty, very athletic. I used to play a lot of football when I was younger. I've always been into sports. Uh, used to do a bit of boxing when I was younger. Um, had a little time out for a bit of partying with girls and bits and bobs as you do. Always carried on with my football. And then um, about 10 years ago, got into the kickboxing. And uh, I got an injury, bad injury, about four years ago and just started teaching people. And then uh, that's about it, that's basically it. When I had my knee, I had my knee replaced and I couldn't even walk, but the day after the operation, not the day after, the day after that, I was in the gym lifting weights and uh, I'll continue till the day I die. Uh, my name's Jerry East, I'm owner of SAS Gym, or Spit and Sawdust as it's known. Um, pretty much run the place and tell everyone what to do. It's everything I've worked for, really. Ever since day one, when I started off in uh, Canary Wharf, I always had a dream of making my kind of gym, as opposed to put one of these big flash le uh, leisure centres. Quite a lot of commercial gyms that won't let you do what you want, like, for instance, the powerlifting. They won't let you uh, push maximum weights and stuff, whereas we kind of encourage you to push yourself to your limits. It's a bit more of a friendly environment, really, whereas you go to the mainstream gyms, it's not that sort of environment really, whereas here you get a lot of friends come here in groups and stuff like that, so you get a lot of good banter and stuff like that, so it's different.